Um, basically, there are some new tests out because we really, one of the highest rates for um, babies dying and babies, babies being born prematurely. And so there's things like vaginal cultures that we can do, but also there's a, a test out called the fetal fibronectin test. And this is just as easy as getting a vaginal culture. So once your, your doctor checks for any infections, because that can cause premature labor, then they do this really quickly. And fetal fibronectin, uh, what they found is that is the glue that actually holds the amniotic sac. And what the amniotic sac is, the, um, it's the sac that surrounds the baby that's filled with the water. It holds that sac to the uterus. And if you find some of this fetal fibronectin, then the great sign, the great thing is if, actually if you don't find it, because if you don't find it, then there's 99% chance that you won't go into labor. So this is a huge boon for predicting premature labor, which I'm sure you're concerned about Definitely. You know, with yeah. triplets, because that's, with multiples, that's a, you know, a concern. So what week do you do the test? You can do this between 22 and 35 weeks. And um, if it predicts negative? Negative is the most predictive value of it, because if it's negative, then you have you know, a 99% um, risk that you won't go into labor. If um, there is positive, then you have a 14 times more risk of, you know, going into labor, but it's not 100 percent. Going well, into labor in the next couple weeks. So it's not a real, specific. yeah, it's not real specific predictor if it's positive. We do other things too, like check cervical length. You know, if it's under mm -hmm. three centimeters, we know you're at higher risk. Um, but this, you know, definitely if it's negative, it gives you a little negative, bit of... negative, it does give you some yeah. freedom. If it's positive, you're still sort of in the dark a Probably little bit. Probably rest. Right, right? exactly. Yeah. So for women who have multiples, um, you know, who've had a history of preterm labor before, just like she had, who have other medical conditions that might um, predispose them to premature labor, this is a very good screening test for them. Are Would you do it every... to the... doing that? No, it's just, as you can see, it's just a Q-tip. It's just a so swab. So non-invasive. Non-invasive test. And it's covered test. by insurance, you think? Yes. Yeah, so, so it's really great that we have this. 